Well, a suspect in a stabbing attack during a Hanukkah celebration is in custody, and police are looking into whether the crime was motivated by anti-Semitism. Fox News correspondent Jackie Henrik has more from New York. What started as a Hanukkah celebration ended in tragedy. 38-year-old Grafton Thomas allegedly storming the home of a rabbi, hacking five people with a machete before trying to break into the synagogue next door. Worshippers threw tables and chairs at the suspect to try to get him to leave. The Jewish community here still coming to terms with what happened. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion that, that this could happen that I, there are no words. The saying never again is being taken serious right now. We're going to make sure that that doesn't happen. When police eventually tracked Thomas down, they say he was covered in blood and smelled like he tried to clean up the evidence with bleach. His family says he has a history of mental illness, but no affiliation with any hate groups. There's a visible security presence in front of the synagogue this morning as local officials discuss their plans to combat an uptick in anti-Semitic crime. As a community, as a county, we are fighting back, regardless of what the motivations are, Regardless of what the investigations reveal, the fact of the matter is we cannot sit around and do nothing. The rabbi who survived the attack says he's thanking God because the casualties could have been much worse. Since December 23rd, there's been at least one anti-Semitic attack each day in the New York City area. The Jewish community here is alarmed, but also defiant, saying they won't be intimidated by hate. No matter what happens, no matter who tries um, to destroy us in any way, we will still rise and we will be happy. Grafton Thomas pleaded not guilty to five counts of attempted murder and burglary. His bail was set at $5 million. In Muncie, New York, Jackie Heinrich, Fox News.